Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Local History, where we tell you what the logo was like over the years. And for this episode, we are doing Universal. As you can see, Universal is a company owned by Comcast. I can't really tell you more about it. Too. I can't really tell you more about it because I thought I have an eye doctor's appointment in an hour and 13 minutes. So without further ado, let's start. 1912 to 1914. Um, this is kind of like. Saturn and its rings, and we have the words Universal Films, and except it has the Saturn and its rings. 1914 and 1919, we have moving Universal Pictures, and it kind of has a weird shape. Um, it kind of reminds me of a biplane. 1919 and 1923, it says Universal Films, and it has, says the Transatlantic Films? See? Films? Uh, I don't know. 1923 to 1929, this is probably the same as the 1912 to 1914 version, except it has the words Universal Pictures on the Saturn and its rings. 1929 to 1936, we have the planet Earth with the words Universal Pictures around it. 1936 to 1946, this lasted for a decade. We have the planet Earth and we have a banner. And which, which looks more like a bracelet you put on, on your wrist, and it says Universal Pictures. 1946 to 1963, we have the planet Earth with the words Universal Internationally with a black drop shot. 1963 to 1990, uh, this shape around this, it kind of looks like a skateboard to ride on. That's, and this ball, it kind of looks like something else. 1990. This is only used for the 75th anniversary. And that, and that's why it says Universal 75th Anniversary. And at, and that time it was owned by MCA. 1991 and 1997, we have the planet Earth with the words Universal on it. And down there we have an MCA company. 1997 to 2012. I think this is where Universal, this is where it starts to be owned by um, Comcast. Anyways, we have like the planet Earth with the words Universal on it. Um, 2012. This is only used for the 100th anniversary logo. That's why it says Universal 100th anniversary. And down there we have a Comcast company. And finally, 2013 to the present. Uh, we have the planet Earth with the word Universal on it. And down there we have a Comcast company on the bottom. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching episode 5 of Logo History. And I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 6, Svensk Film Industry. Bye-bye.